and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Lily Bradley. West Virginia is now at 119 COVID-19 deaths with 239 new positive cases. In the governor's briefing today, he stressed doubling down on preventative measures while tackling the new hotspots that have emerged. West Virginia Tonight reporter Larissa Casillas joins us now with more. Larissa. Lily, the governor says Logan, Mingo and Mercer counties are now on their radar as their neighboring borders with other states with more COVID-19 cases have put them the most at risk. A total of 388 people were tested in Logan County yesterday during a free COVID-19 testing event as it emerged as the latest COVID-19 hotspot in West Virginia. State health officials also point to the Princeton Nursing Home, where 31 staff and 33 residents tested positive. Beckley Appalachian Hospital is the third trouble area. The governor says the virus is migrating from the south. We're seeing a movement now that this disease is moving into rural areas, you know, areas that maybe we have been a little safer before. And now we're seeing a more of a movement there. The state's health officer was in Princeton this weekend, and she says a lot of these new cases are also travel related. That's why we are talking about people when they go for their travel history. We want them to have their testing done and to wait for their results to come back in. Because hospitalizations are up 10 percent in the state, Governor Justice is now designating St. Francis and Charleston COVID surge hospital. That will stand up 15 of the hospital's 36 ICU beds. Dr. Clay Marsh says we're entering a new phase with the virus. That this second phase where we are trying to work and live with the virus is a much more tricky phase and a much more challenging one. And as younger people begin to drive the virus in West Virginia, bar closures in Morgantown have been extended for another 10 days. Because Dr. Marsh says this virus is not just a flu and the potential long-term side effects of COVID-19 are just emerging. And the governor says he will have a new announcement regarding schools reopening in West Virginia on Wednesday. For West Virginia Tonight, I'm Larissa Casillas. Lily, back to you.